Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight? Today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. Alright, so I got one here from FLX Beer Reviews. Uh, this is like, I think the fourth one I've done so far. They sent me an excellent package. I'm so happy to have gotten this. Uh, thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe to these guys and, um, and check them out. So, very great, great reviewers, funny dudes, um, and uh, they know their stuff. So... Um, this is from Other Half Brewing Company, and they're from out of this is out of Bloomfield, East Bloomfield, New York, and it's a triple Citra Chroma Daydream. So it's triple dry hopped with Citra, like uh, just single dry uh, Citra, uh, no other hop. Triple dry hopped. Um, it's a double IPA, and triple oat cream IPA is what they call it. Ten percent. Cool, huh? Hell yeah. This was canned 2 4 of 23. So, like, I don't know, like a month and a half old or so ish. Almost two months. Citra, oats, and milk sugar. Loving that milk sugar. Been brewing with that on my Nipas, and it's really nice. Hazy Triple Oat Cream IPA brewed with milk sugar and oats. I'm not going to get into the flavor notes because I don't want it to jinx me. <laughs> I want to get a taste of it for myself. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Where's the camera? Jeez, I keep looking over there. It's not over there. It's over there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Snap the tin like Rajopolis says. You know what, I want to kind of like stir, I forgot to put it upside down, I got an itchy eye. Ah, damn it. That's alright. Do a straight pour to get me some head on there. Let's put that back up there. That's what it looks like, the can. Pretty cool. Alright. So it looks like orange juice. It looks literally like orange juice like a creamy milky orange juice um like un just i don't know nice it looks good poured about almost a finger head um half a finger or so a little rocky from the straight pour but very creamy super creamy and rich looking it's already lacing on the sides maybe a slight leggy going on but very creamy and milky on the bottom, and it's a little lighter on the top, but man, let's get into the nose. Oh, man, super huge orange bite to this. You get the oats as well. You definitely get the oaty kind of orange. I get a slight pineapple as well. Definitely get that sweet kind of feel from uh, the milk sugar and stuff. Orange pineapple. Let's see if I can do this without. I filled it a little too high. I got like a goblet glass. There, stuff's coming out now. A little nectarine. Nectarine, possibly. Orange, definitely. Pineapple, definitely. Not as much, a little more subdued on the pineapple, but a real big orange bite. Nectarine, um, oh man, there's some kind of, uh, there's a bit of a, a like a, a little pinch of floral or something going on inside of it. Let me get the can. Ooh. Tangerines. Navel orange tangerine kind of mix. Pineapple. Slight dankiness coming through. There's a slight dank. I wouldn't say like cannabis dank. It, just like kind of a kind of an earthiness. A slight earthy punch to it. Candied. Candied orange. 
I get a candied orange kind of feel in this in the nose. All right, at least through the can. It's really hard to smell through this. I need to get glasses with the tulip. I gotta get something that kind of brings out the aromas more. If I could just quit breaking my fucking glasses. All right, not these ones, these ones. Okay, um, I need new glasses though. These are like grocery store reading glasses. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll look at it one more time real quick. Opaque, can't see through it, I forgot to mention that. It's very uh, low, like a low carbonation, medium low is, if anything. I don't really see any bubbles, to be honest. It's leaving a light, nice little trim of, of, of uh, a foam on the top of head. All right, it's time to drink this. Let's drink it, cheers. Candied orange, candied pineapple. Peach, candied peach, candied nectarine. There's a big candy in this. It's very candy-ish. Um, it's got like, it's very big with the pineapple, or big with the orange, I mean. Uh, very nice, like, like almost like um, the little candy wedges with the sugar on them. Very smooth and silky and creamy in the mouthfeel. Tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Like an orange Jolly Rancher. Oh, man. That's good. Nectarines coming through. A little nectarine. What's that flavor? There's something else that's going on in here. It's not earthy by no means. I don't get an earthy in the flavor. I got it more in the nose. Peach, candied peaches, candied orange, candied pineapple. There's a slight, just a very, 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 very small slight pinch of bitterness right in the finish. But it's like not enough to even like notice. Like, like 10 IBU kind of like uh, bitterness. Uh, for those of you that don't know IBU, it's International Bitterness Units. Uh, it's how bitter the beer is through your hops and uh, whatever else you might use. Even some uh, acrid malts can add that in some darker beers. Um, yeah, this is this is lovely. This is very, very, very decadent, very nice, very easy to drink. Goes down super smooth, super strong, dangerous ass 10%. Um, very dangerous. It's a danger, 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 stranger danger. You get that ortho and retro nasal kind of doing that breathing technique, you know, like as you're taking it down and as you swallow, you let out, you can get that retro bringing out some um, big time candy whiffs and flavors. Wow. Really nice. Oats coming through for sure. The body is medium, full medium for sure. Slightly dry in the finish, but not not super bad. It's definitely sweet. Has a little bit of um, like a sweet kind of uh, slight bit, slight bitter, and um, and um, that's about it. It does have a slight sour bitter kind of, and then you get the sweet. You get that milky kind of uh, lactosey, milky thick body kind of feel in it. Very nice. Fuck, this is good. <laughs> Breathing out through the nose after you swallow, it brings out this hardcore candy. Woo! Nine minutes in, I'm going to stop. Out of 10 hops, this is a 9.7 hops. I definitely love this beer. 9.7 out of 10. Pretty much close to world class. This is a very nice beer right here. I really like this one. So, thanks again, FLX Beer Reviews. Thank you guys, Dan and Mike. Again, if you haven't already done so, Please subscribe to these guys. Check them out. Very nice, cool dudes. Uh, funny as fuck. And uh, they know their shit, like I said. So they know how to review beers. They know sh they know a lot about hops. And uh, the things that go on these beers as far as what their their nose and their mouth is telling them. Their, uh, uh, you know, their tongue's telling them. So um, they're very good beer reviewers. So check them out. 
They put off some really nice uh, descriptors too, by the way. You guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world, but not after one fucking sip. One more, for sure. I'm going to have the whole rest of this fucking can. Cheers. Mm. Oh, my God.